Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Oke, okay, here we group from group A will present our presentation about innovation in participation of community First of all, I want to introduce our group My name is Muwak Adi Chakir and My name is Karina So without further ado, let's go to the first presentation will be delivered by Nanda. Nanda, the floor is yours. What is innovation? Innovation, its modern meaning, is a new idea or creative thought or new imagination in form of device or method. Innovation is often also quite new as the application of better solution that meet new requirement and articulate needs or existing market needs. Such innovation takes place through the creation of more effective products, process, services, technologies, or business models that are available to market and government society. And the next is innovation in education. Innovation in education means doing what's best for all students. Teacher, lesson, curriculum have to be flexible. We have to get our students to think and ask questions. We need to figure their curiosity and find ways to keep them interested. Innovation means change, so we have to learn that our students need more than the skill need to pass the state assessment even every spring. Uh, we have to give them tools that will make them productive and their future in their future career. And the next will be referred by Karina. Okay, next community. A community is small or large social unit, a group of living things that has something in common, such as norms, religion, values, or identity. Communities often sharing a sense of place that is situated in given geographical area. Example, a country, village, town, or neighbor neighborhood, or in virtual space, space through communication platforms. Durable relations that extend beyond immediate gene genealogical ties also define a sense of community. People tend to define those social ties as important to their identity, practice, and roles in social institutions such as family, home, work, government, society, or humanity at large. Community partic participation in education. There are two of community participation in education. First one is school directors. Community participation in ed education is a process involving parents, authorities, and education relevant stakeholders in education. This involve involvement occurs in the form of ideas, money, materials, and labor contribution for school development. For the second is teachers. Community particip participation in education is the participation in receiving education information from schools and spreading in the community. Community participates through sending their children to school and contributing ideas, money, and materials whenever the school asks for help. Next will be the word by Devi.
the work and ideas for school improvement such as school construction and sending children to school and helping children learning at home. Okay. And the last is authorities. Community participation in education is the improvement in, in spreading education information and value of education for local authorities and community in order to get children get education. Community participate through resource contribution such as money and labor for school and education development. The next material will be the next topic. And here is the type and process of community participation in education. First is parenting. With regard to parenting, families are basically held responsible for educating their children to in the basic skills, knowledge, norm, behaviors, values, and beliefs of the families and society and society. For example, in the participation is the person enroll children in school and show their children attendance in school and accompany small children during classes to get them used to the school and then, and then suggest the teacher to provide extra support to their children and suggest the, the teacher to give them teaching methods and the second is learning at home this is a form of participation that involves the activity where family assist their children's learning at home such as homework and other curriculum related activities Teachers can provide basic knowledge about teaching to parents and they can assist their children learning. Next is communicating. This type of participation refers to the communication between the school and the families about the education program and the children's learning progress at school. For example, is the students study record or use it on a monthly basis to track individual students' achievement in class. Parents were required to read the report and then write any comments on their children study record before sending back to school and then in volunteering volunteering concern the involvement of parents and other volunteers to assist teachers administrators and children in the classroom in other area of the school to improve quality of education and children's learning next is decision making Participation decision making process in the involvement of parents and community members in school decision, governance and advocacy activities for school and education development through the school committee. And the last is collaborating. This form of participation is concerned with the collaboration of the schools, agencies, business organizations and other groups to share responsibilities for improving school and education. I think that's all from our presentation. Is there any question? Yes, Mira and Mehta.